Hey, I'm fucking Noel's Meister, and I'm here to give you an overview of the Google Pixel 6 Pro. It's a video sponsored by Google, and if you just bought this device, congratulations, you won't regret it. I can testify, because I've been rocking this flagship for almost half a year. It's by far my favorite smartphone release thus far, and here are the reasons why. First off, it's got a beautiful, unique design, making it the most Google phone yet. With a polished aluminum frame, curved glass all around, a giant 6.7 inch 120 hertz waterfall front display, water resistance, an under display fingerprint sensor, and a camera bar on the back to emphasize the triple rear cameras. This phone is pure eye candy. I especially love the camera bar since it makes the Pixel 6 Pro stand out from the sea of other phones out there. And the two-tone color theme was a nice touch. The Pixel 6 Pro comes in three different colors, stormy black, cloudy white, and sort of sunny. And no matter which variant you choose, you'll be very pleased. What's also very pleasing is the software. With Android 12, Google turned the Android platform into a more playful and expressive experience that lets you, the user, take charge of how you want your pixel to look. For starters, your entire UI, including the widgets, icons, system settings, quick settings, and even some Google apps, all follow the colors of your wallpaper. It makes the interface a lot more personal and exciting. It's also a neat way to have your phone match your outfit. I also love the updated look of the entire UI thanks to a new design language that Google created called Material U. Almost everything got a refreshed look, from the widgets to the quick settings to even a ton of your Google apps. Makes the interface look a lot more intuitive and mesmerizing. On top of that, this is the most secure pixel yet, and it's made me a bit more relaxed whenever I have to input any sensitive data or run certain tasks. Now here's why. Within the software, there's a security hub that gives me simple steps to protect my data and a privacy dashboard to let me check which apps are accessing certain permissions. I also get small indicators on the top right of the screen whenever an app uses the camera or microphone and I can quickly block the camera and microphone from being accessed right from the quick settings. On the hardware side, the Pixel 6 Pro comes packed with a new processor called Google Tensor and it's a lot more resilient at stopping advanced attacks. It accomplishes this by having all of my sensitive tasks run on a real core called Tensor Security Core, isolating those sensitive controls from everything else, including my applications. Plus, the Pixel 6 has a security chip called the Titan M2 that protects sensitive data, pins, and passwords. And for that cherry on top, the Pixel 6 comes with five years of security updates, giving me the most up-to-date protection in the long term. Not a lot of phones promise this type of reliability. Pixel 6 Pro also comes with a ton of exclusive software features, which honestly are one of the main reasons why I keep coming back. You have things like Live Translate, which automatically translates many conversations that are in a foreign language within some of my popular messaging apps. And I can even respond quickly in their language without leaving the app. For phone calls, whenever I need to call customer support, the Pixel 6 lets me see the expected wait times. That way I can call back at a less busy time. And whenever I'm listening to those automated menus, a feature called Direct My Calls lets me turn those menus into options on the screen for me to select. Saves me from needing to remember everything. And if you're a big Snapchat user like me, you're going to love the Pixel because you'll be able to open Snapchat much faster by just double tapping the back of the phone, even when the screen is locked. That's just the tip of the iceberg. I must say, Google nailed the software once again, not only by making it more helpful, but also by making it a lot more personal. Google also nailed the performance of the Pixel 6 Pro. It's so much faster than its predecessor, and it's all thanks to that Google Tensor chip I talked about earlier. Plus, it also helps that the phone comes with a bigger 12 gigabytes of RAM and a higher 120 hertz refresh rate that makes scrolling or animations feel buttery smooth. Image processing, gaming sessions, opening apps, voice typing, or even just talking to Google Assistant feels a lot faster now. It's the fastest and smartest Pixel that I've used yet, and the best part is that the Google Tensor chip doesn't even use that much power to accomplish these faster speeds, saving me a lot of battery. On a regular day, the Pixel 6 Pro could easily last me the entire day and usually ends me at around 20 to 30% when it's bedtime. It's all thanks to it having the biggest battery capacity that a Pixel has ever seen, a whopping 5,000 milliamp hours. So no matter if I'm constantly checking social media, responding to several messages, playing games, or having Bluetooth enabled throughout the entire day for my smartwatch, the Pixel 6 Pro handles battery life like a champ. Plus, when the time comes to juice up the phone, the 6 Pro provides a great fast charging speed, both wired and wirelessly. Finally, the cameras are by far my favorite feature found within the Pixel 6 Pro. 
This time around, the 6 Pro comes packed with a triple rear camera system that includes a new telephoto lens and larger sensors for both the main and ultra wide to bring in a ton more light to improve nighttime photography. Plus, the front camera is now ultra wide and can shoot 4K video. When shooting pictures, the rear cameras had no problem capturing any memories that were in front of me, even if it was nighttime. Everything came out looking detailed, colors were very accurate, everything was well exposed, and nighttime shots still made my jaw drop. Especially with Oscar Photography Mode, which allowed me to capture all the beautiful stars in the sky, even some that I couldn't see. Quick tip, if you put the pixel on a tripod and switch to night sight mode, you'll be able to create a time lapse of the night sky. It's very astonishing what you could do with the Pixel's camera. The phone doesn't stop there though, because the 6 Pro's camera also came with many new exclusives. Things like Real Tone, which provided better imaging equity when capturing darker skin tones. It made the skins of my roommates a lot richer, natural, and provided better exposure. Magic Eraser, a feature found within Google Photos, also came in handy for removing unwanted items or people from shots that I took. I could even magically remove items from pictures that I had taken in the past. It really does work like magic. For times when your kids won't stand still for a photo, the Pixel 6 can still unblur their faces. It's pretty fascinating. And when capturing something with a ton more speed, like a moving vehicle or a beautiful waterfall, there's a new mode called Motion Mode, which does a fantastic job at adding a creative blur to the subjects. Something only professional photographers could accomplish. Now, anyone could do it simply by tapping the shutter button. In the end, I absolutely love my experience with the Pixel 6 Pro. There's so much to love about it, from the spectacular cameras, to the more exciting and personal software experience, to even the unique looking design. With a starting price of $899, the Pixel 6 Pro is a grand slam. It's the complete package and you're not going to regret the Pixel experience. Anyways, that's a quick overview of the Pixel 6 Pro sponsored by Google. If you guys like what you saw, a quick thumbs up would go a long way to help others learn more about the Pixel 6 Pro. And if you want to come back for more, join the Pixel team by getting subscribed with the notification bell turned on. Either way, thank you guys for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.